Okay, so we're going to get started on solving systems of equations by elimination. So ideally when you're solving these systems, you want to have opposite letters in some case. So in this first example here, we have m and negative m are opposite. When you have opposites, what you do is you add down, so m plus negative m, those are going to cancel out. 3n plus 2n gives me 5n, and then 2 plus 3 gives us 5 again. At this point, you're going to go ahead and divide by 5 to solve for your n, and you get n equals 1. Because it's a system of equations and not just one equation, we have to go ahead and find the other letter. So I'm going to take that n equals 1. I'm going to pick either one of these equations and plug it into. Typically, I'll just plug it into the top unless one of them is real easy. So we'll have m plus 3 times 1. So I substituted 1 for n equals 2. m plus 3 equals 2. Here we're going to go ahead and subtract 3 to both sides. Those cancel. You're going to get m equals negative 1. Whenever you're solving a system, you want to make sure that you write your final answer as a coordinate point. In this case, m becomes before n, so it'll be negative 1, comma, 1. That's going to be your solution to that one. Okay. Then we can go ahead and get to one like number 4. Well, yeah, we don't have any opposites here, so what we need to do is you need to multiply one or both of the equations by a number so that you create opposites. So in this case, I'm looking at the y's here, and I see they're the same number. So those are going to be the easier ones to work with. So what I'm going to do is pick the equations. In this case, I'll go with the top. I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. Notice that the number I'm multiplying by, I put at the back here, and we always recommend that's a good idea because kids will forget to distribute it to the after the equal sign number. So in this case, you know that it multiplies with the 3x, the 2y, and the 8. It just makes it a little bit easier to remember that you multiply it to everything. So here we're going to get negative 3x minus 2y equals negative 8. Okay, our bottom equation doesn't change. We still have 5x plus 2y equals 12. Now we've created those opposites that we wanted with the 2y and the negative 2y. So these ones are going to cancel out. Negative 3x plus 5x is 2x. Negative 8 plus 12 is 4. We're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2. We get x equals 2. Again, just like the last problem, once we get that first letter, we've got to go ahead and plug in that to any one of our equations. You can literally plug it into this equation, that one, that one, or that one. You have any pick that you want. I'm going to plug it into the first one just like we did before. So 3 times 2 plus 2y equals 8. 6 plus 2y equals 8. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 6 to both sides. You get 2y equals 2. By dividing by 2, you're going to go ahead and get y equals 1. We write our final answer as the point 2, 1. We're done with that. Both of those are pretty easy examples. You got to multiply one equation by a number. You don't have to multiply it all. In a perfect world, that's how they're all going to be, but we know better than that. So we're going to go ahead and show a couple more difficult examples here. So we'll start with this problem number seven here. In this case, we have no numbers that are the same. Okay, I do see that we have two and four, and we have one and negative two there. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 2 so that I make some opposites here. So I'm going to multiply and I get to those. I get 4x plus 2y equals negative 8. My bottom equation remains unchanged. Negative 4x minus 2y equals 8. Now I think we can see those opposites that we're always looking for, so we add down. 4x plus negative 4x cancels. 2y plus negative 2y cancels, that leaves us with 0. On this side, negative 8 plus 8 is also 0. When you get an equation that works out to be 0 equals 0, of course that is true. 0 does equal 0, so in this case you have infinite solutions. Another way of saying it would be many solutions. They both mean the same thing. 
Again, that's because 0 does equal 0. We'll see a little bit later what happens when you get one that is not 0 equals 0, where are numbers that aren't true. Okay, so quickly here, let's go ahead and look at the next couple just to get a little more comfortable with it. This example, I'm looking at 8a plus 4b equals 16, negative 2a plus 3b equals negative 12. Well, I know I can multiply negative 2a by something to make it negative 8a, which is what I want for that opposite. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the bottom equation by 4. Okay, you've got to remember, distribute to all three numbers. My top equation remains unchanged. 8a plus 4b equals 16. Bottom one, we get negative 8a plus 12b equals negative 48. I'm going to go ahead and add down. Those cancel out. I get 16b equals negative 32. Divide by 16. Those cancel. I'm going to go ahead and get b equals negative 2. As every other problem, I'm going to take that, plug it in. Let's stick with what I've been doing. We're going to plug it into the top one. 8a plus 4 times negative 2 equals 16. 8a minus 8 equals 16. Plus 8 to both sides. Those cancel. 8a equals 24. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 8. And you get a equals 3. Final answer would be 3 negative 2. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead on to number 10 here. And we're going to see in this case it's tough because I can't multiply 5 by anything to make 7. I can't multiply 4 by anything to make 9. So in this case, what you do is you can pick either the x's or the y's, and you're going to multiply by each other. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top equation by, let's say, 9. I'm going to work with the y's. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 4. Now, I don't have to multiply by negatives because I already see my y's. One's negative and one's positive. So when I go ahead and distribute these in, I get 63x plus 36y equals negative 9. On the bottom equation, I get negative 20x minus 36y equals 52. I'm going to add down because I got these opposites. 63x plus negative 20x gives me 43x. Y's cancel equals 43. Well, that works out perfectly for us. Divide by 43. Divide by 43. That cancels. You get x equals 1. Last step, as always, I'm going to take that x equals 1. I'm going to plug it in to the top equation. So 7 times 1 plus 4y equals negative 1. 7 plus 4y equals negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 7. 4y equals negative 8. Divide by 4. y equals negative 2. Final answer, we're going to write 1, negative 2. And there we go. <coughs> So those are all the hard types of problems. We've had to multiply no equations, one equation by a negative only, one equation by a number, and then both equations. Lastly here is just another example of similar to when we get 0 equals 0. In this equation number 12, this system I should say, we already have opposites. A and negative A, negative B and B. So when I add down, those cancel, those cancel, it gives me 0. Well, 5 plus negative 2 is 3. Well, I think you can see the difference here between one like this, excuse me, one like that, is that 0 does equal 0, that's why it's infinite solutions. In this equation, or system of equations, we get 0 equals 3. In this case, we say no solutions. So these are all the different ways you can expect to see how to solve systems of equations, uh, whether it's no solutions, infinite solutions, or you get one solution.